Hello and welcome to a new episode of Swift UI Elements. Today we will talk about a new introduced feature of iOS 18 and it's called Zoom Transition. So let's start. As always, I have to prepare a little bit of UI and, and the view itself. So let's start with that. And because we want some transitions, we need a navigation stack. Um, and inside the navigation stack, we can uh, put our UI in there. So um, we also need a navigation link because that's the button we can uh, tap on it. So um, for that, we start uh, with, uh, let's say, a rounded rectangle. Rounded rectangle. And um, we do an corner radius of eight. Uh, let's fill it with red. So let's activate the preview. So the navigation link needs an argument and this argument should be a destination. The destination is the view we want to open. The label is uh, the thing we just uh, provide here. So we can use that label because it's the second closure so destination text my destination so we close here this bracket and we don't need that in here so the destination my destination that's the our basic view the red rectangle is way too too Big, so we make it a little bit smaller. So we say 50, 50 in width and height. And we add an overlay on it um, with a text. And we say tap me. And the foreground style. Foreground style is color.white. Now we should get uh, something which looks like a button. I can tap on it and as you can see, the destination gets opened when I tap on it. That's a normal push animation or push transition. And now we want to add the new transition in here. So um, let's see, I have my destination, I can go back, okay. So what do I need for the zoom transition? The zoom transition um, needs a namespace because uh, it needs to know at the beginning and at the end of the transition which element ha has to transition to which element. So first what we need is a namespace in here. So we have add namespace and it's a private var because we only need it in here. We can call it namespace to make things easy. And now we need uh, to specify a little bit. So what do we need? We need to say to the navigation link, this one is a matched transition source because that's the source where we start from. And it needs an ID. Um, we could say um, we make a constant here, let um, ID. Uh, we say it's a string and uh, UI elements. So then we can use here the ID, this one, and we need a namespace ID and that's the, or it's only the namespace. So with that being said, we say, okay, our source of the transition is our navigation link, which has the rounded rectangle as content. Now we need to uh, specify also the the, uh, the target of the uh, of the animation, and we want to uh, transition to the new destination, so the text my destination. And for that, we add here the navigation transition, and this one needs a style, and we now get here the zoom style for the uh, zoom transition. And that one needs a source ID. That's of course our ID. And the namespace is our namespace. And with that added here, when I now tap on it, 
I get a zoom animation, as you can see. When I go back, it transitions to the thing uh, again. So now let's let's make things a little bit um, cleaner, a little bit um, nicer to view. So normally you won't add your um, you know, destination view directly in the navigation link. So for that, we prepare a new view and we say it's our zoom transition destination, but you can call it, uh, it's just a normal view as you know. So you can call it as we want. So body, no, not that one, body. And yeah, what do we want to do here? We just want to show a little bit or make the UI a little bit nicer. So we can do, for example, a C stack. We add a color, so we get a nice transition from the red button to uh, the red to another view. We say, okay, the background is red, and we say the whole screen should be red. So ignore safe areas, and we say text, and this is my destination, as the same text as before. Um, the font we say large title, the foreground. Style is color white. So it looks a little bit nicer. And now we change this here to our new view zoom transition destination. Um, let's call it zoom transition view because I have on so a destination. So let's switch it to the view. Compile it again. And rerun the, the preview and if i tap on it i get the normal view and as you can see i get the ugly back button um, but we can work with that and we can say i remove the navigation back button button it should be hidden and yeah now it should be gone so let's test it again uh, when the is ready. Yeah. So the back button is gone. So how can I navigate back? It's with a swipe. And as you can see, it's also animating when I swipe and when I release the, with my finger, then it snaps back into the button. So a really nice animation. Yeah. And basically that's all uh, what you need to do for a zoom animation or a zoom transition with iOS 18. I hope you liked the video. We will see us in the next one. Bye-bye.